Does this next album have what it takes to get into my collection or yours? We're going to find out right now. I'm going to torture this one, kick it, and beat it to the ground to find out. And a warning, this could get ugly. Terry here again, guiding metal music warriors like you to the newest metal music. Are you up for a fistful of new metal music to collect right now? Well, stick around in less than seven minutes. You'll have four new extreme albums to add to your collection. If you like what was there on the list, Redline Reviews is for you because I review, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly charts so you get the best new metal every day. Freaks by Avrilize is the band's newest album up for a fresh full metal review. Let's go ahead and break this one down. In Apple Music, I open the band's page to see that there are eight strong sounding tracks totaling 35 minutes. The album cover artwork, as you can see, it's a multicolored type of art piece with fabulous looking skull there. And it's got custom fonts. The artist did a great job here. I had no problems picking this one out from the batch. They classified themselves in Apple Music as metal. Between that album artwork, the song titles, and a quick sound check, I'm going to visualize something pretty heavy. Uh, what about your predictions? If you already have listened to this album, let me know in the comments. I'd like to compare them. My genre description before I start the review here, I'm going to say they're either hardcore or industrial metal. Seems to be, it tips me off with the fonts there. And But we'll see in the you know, in the end during my reveal. Track one, it opens with synthesizer work characterized by uh, the industrial electronica metal type uh, genre, but it, then it explodes into metalcore mayhem. It has huge jet rhythms, nice melodies, vocals are scorching. This band and the... the this band has awesome bass and percussions and trip hammer hard rhythms all the way through it. Very solid number here. Track two is a rangy, melodic, rhythmic number, rich with scorching guitars, vocals, and synthesizer sound. It has more mainstream metal sound with huge energy and intensity, and it's actually pretty refreshing. Track three, it's strong. It, it has a spirit box, Linkin Park feel with stabbing gent guitar sounds and raw melodic metal sound. Uh, it has great riffs and solos throughout, and it's really creative. It's a nice track. Track four, it's deep, blistering. It's a metalcore number with awesome industrial metal passages. The energy in this song is massive. Uh, this song, number three, it uh, number four rather, it has my attention totally. Track five, again, it has superb, deep, rangy, and crushing rhythms. Vocals, guitars, bass, and drums are at their max here. This is a solid number as well, and it's teetering between mainstream and underground level metal, for intensity anyway. The rest of the album is nice. It was consistent, strong with Great rhythm, great bursting waves of mayhem to catchy, smooth melodies, and it was nicely done, okay, from Avrilize. So great job, guys. In summary, I believe this band must be, must have, rather, a tremendous live show. Nicely done, okay? Recording and sound quality, it was professional, but I found that they were pushing the limits here of the technology. It had some light distortion there. While production and musicality was raw and very refined at the same time, in my opinion, I'm going to rate the overall levels of rhythm and tempo as very high, a six to seven or even a seven plus intensity range, while the harmonies and melodies were midway at a level four to five range of presence in this album as well. I find the lyrical theme here seems to vary from positive to negative life experiences, and becoming a mainstream or radio act here, it's a possibility, but that's not a deal breaker. That's what young bands like this are going for. Range flow and layout of the album is consistent. Tracks are arranged tightly and meticulously. I'm going to describe the vocals as fiery, fry, and rangy, clean, youthful feeling vocals, while the guitar work, it's edgy with superb, with that superb, rather, uh, that gent slapping sound 
with nice riff and solo work. The bass section was big, deep, punchy, and finally the drums and percussion performance was tight, full, snappy. There were plenty of accompanying synthesizer sounds. Overall, the energy and intensity of this band and this album is massive. They remind me of a couple of bands I reviewed earlier, one called Defocus and Blind Channel, somewhat. Um, and my chat GPT had no information. This band must be very, very brand new, okay? The temperature rating here, I'm going to rate them at a level 7 plus for heat with a dark and light tonality feel at the same time. While the overall color or colors I'm going to describe here are going to be white, and I'm going to add some pink and baby blue because I believe the women will go for this boy band youthfulness. Does the album cover match the artwork? I'm going to say yes, it does. It's very youthful. General feeling I had during this session was electricity. And it led me to give this album a huge seismic reading of 7.9 on my Richter scale. And I'm going to say that this is gonna great music for road tripping or house parties. In my reveal here, the predictions from earlier were kind of bunk. I said hardcore industrial. Now my description is metalcore with electronic in it. Model, modern metalcore, rather. And the official bio... It said modernized metalcore. So I didn't know that metalcore was getting old. <laughs> so anyway, this means that I've been somewhat redeemed in the second half. But my favorite tracks moving forward here is 2, 7, and 8. They were really fire tracks. And finally, I have decided that I do want to add this one to my library. And that is it for another episode of Redline Reviews. And I'm going to dig into my treasure chest here. And I'm going to match this one up. This band here is a little heavier. Okay. They are distant and the album is called Heritage. Just for you. And a recap. Yesterday during episode 93, I reviewed Defectum Omnium by X Hoarder. What an amazing album that was, by the way. And I added Depths by Aboria from my secret stash at the end. And that is your four albums in seven minutes. And lastly, that's it, everybody. Remember, please, to support your bands. Stream them, engage them on social, buy the merch, see them live if you can. Join me soon for another episode of Redline Reviews. And finally... Please hit that subscribe button so you can get your new albums here first. Cheers, everybody.